Guys, Deluded Guna, you choosing Golo Kante, I'm back again. A quick one now, we know definitely at first team level, there's a lot to be said about the goalkeeper in Czech. Wonderful professional. He's actually had some good games and he hasn't been as crap for Arsenal as some people behave, but clearly he's passed it. And yeah, he's not missed a 15, say 15 points this season that uh, anymore at least. So Czech isn't at it. There's question marks for signing a new keeper. Ospina, you guys know my feelings on Ospina. Um, even if you just watched the recent international versus um, Colombia versus France, you could see how good, just how good Ospina's goalkeeping ability really is. So between them two, between not being good enough, being past it, whatever, they need to move on. We know at academy level, there's a lot to be said, man. Um, Macy's going to be 24 soon. Martinez is going to be 26 when he returns to his loan. I know he's part of the first team. There's a couple other keepers that are in limbo. But one keeper that has terrific potential, 18 years of age, technically signed when he was 15, moved officially at 16, Joao Verena. I hope I've said his name correctly. Now, before I start, the next step for him will have to be asserting himself in the under-23s. I believe this season he's only made one appearance. Ultimately, when you consider how many goalkeepers are at the club, to be honest with you, some older than him, so he's been restricted to under-18s level. But he's a keeper that is very good, man. For me, he's a, he, he's going to need to find balance and, and someone's going to need to work with him because it can go horribly wrong, but he's quick off his line. He likes to clearly come off his line and be a sweeper keeper per se. He likes to ball play. He's a strong thrower. Um, his distribution's good in that regard, whether it's at his feet or throwing. Good shot stopper, strong when he punches stuff around the post or tips it, good height. Obviously, he's 18 years of age, so there's a lot of physical development, whether it's physically in terms of muscle or if there's any growth, more growing for him to, do, to be done. He looks like a serious keeper. Now, I don't want to gas it too much because at these ages, everyone's got potential, I suppose. But he's someone I've got a lot of time for. There's a lot of good players coming out of Portugal. And, it's, and why I like him as well, it shows we've actually went Portugal and signed someone rather than just watching games. Like he could be a serious, a serious player for us, whether it's a competent first team keeper or a competent backup keeper. To be honest with you, I don't want to gas him and say all of these things, but he could be decent, man. Um, he was wanted by Barcelona, Madrid, and a couple other teams. He was actually on trial with another Portuguese youth international at Manchester United as early as 2015. They saw fit not to take him on, but we signed him. So yeah, he's clearly a keeper that, d d put, regardless of what happens at club level, the Portuguese national team or national selectors rate very highly because in his young age he went Rio 2016 Olympics, I believe. He's currently he ain't made an appearance, but he's with the under 21s Portugal side. Um, he's been capped at youth level up every other every every age group up until under. The 21 so he's a keeper they clearly like he's he's starring for the youth cup um in the youth cup side and the under 18s for us and he's playing for in the fa youth cup like i just said um between him and there's actually another keeper i like he's 16 and i don't want to gas him too much but the the black keeper what's his name arthur Oconco. i hope i said his name correctly didn't have the best of games in the youth cup against blackpool if you watch the highlights his handling was a bit poor but he's a young keeper man like he's for me like i said he's decent like he's decent and he should have every he should be confident about having about making it here to be honest our track record with youngsters of recent has been poor but he should be confident Unlike the other keepers, he's got time on his hands. If you look at Hodart, who's getting on a bit. Macy signed a new deal, but he's 24. Martinez signed a new deal, but his loan spell at Getafe hasn't worked out. A couple of appearances and he's 26. Um, is it Elev? I forgot his name. The young Macedonian international slash Bulgarian. His form's improved of late, but it hasn't really worked out. Quito. So there's a lot of... That's around five keepers I've listed. Who's, um, we've got a lot of keepers at the club um, at youth level whose futures need to be decided or something needs to happen. You'd think Macy needs a loan. He's 24 years of age. Top level, Ospina and Czech. I know, not, not naive to think both of them will leave, but there's a good chance one of them will leave. So if we talk about all this shuffle and stuff, if he keeps improving, keeps working and keeps thinking... And times on it, and times kind to him. He might get his chance, whether that's immediately getting in the first team and being a backup keeper, whether it's just pushing up the pecking order and, and and things like that. You can't really, you can't really say anything more on that front. Like I think, I believe his contract's up in twenty nineteen. So I love to see him renew that. He said he wants to play in the Premier League. He wants to be a Premier League number one. So you can't fault a man with an ambition. Just by hearing him in his interviews and things like that, he sounds like a very confident man. To be a keeper, you need to be com confident, to be honest. You need to be confident you can save something, someone. You can't be too cocky. You've seen Loris of recent playing for France, and you've seen Joe Hart get buried when you're too cocky. But you need that healthy balance of arrogance. Look at Smichael. All He had all the technical abilities and stuff, but he believed he could psych out any striker and keep any striker out. This is the sort of mentality that's needed. Um, Like I said, man, not to gas it up too much, the next step will be to get into the under-23s on a, on a more consistent period. The same thing I told you that needs to happen really with Emil Rose Smith and Dragomir, which they've needed to do, which they've been doing. So yeah, I believe he's, I don't even know when he's 19, I believe he's 19 this year, but 
I'm waffling on this point at this point now, man. Guys, deluded, Guna, YouTube's in Golo Kante, get in the comments, subscribe, and do the rest, man. Thank you very much for watching.